I know many of us are missing the ability to hang out and enjoy live music. But like I said before, there is a workaround and one gentleman decided he was going to go ahead and put on a concert. And he didn't even need to book a venue because he's hosting it right in his front yard. Photojournalist Andy Wynn takes us through the story. I've been renovating this house for myself for about nine months. And as I finished it, I wanted to celebrate. And I do some booking pre-COVID. I did some booking uh, around town and I just really missed live music. So I decided to have two bands one weekend. And uh, because of COVID, I didn't want people crowding into my backyard. So I thought, well, if I have it in my front yard, all my neighbors can sit in their own yards and we can all enjoy the music from a safe distance. My neighbors all loved it so much and they asked me to please keep doing it. Initially, I never thought we'd get to 34 shows. A lot of the musicians have said that they hope that I can keep doing it even after COVID. Only time will tell. Um, I, I think there's something that we get here that you can't get in a larger venue. The intimacy, the immediate interaction with the crowd. And because it's so casual, a lot of the musicians feel the freedom to be really experimental and really express themselves. Where when they're playing in a commercial venue, they have a little more pressure to be more commercial and you know appeal to the masses. I always say, wear a mask, bring a lawn chair, and a few bucks to help me pay the band. For a lot of them, this is the first time they've gotten to play with other musicians, and it's just such a delight for them to finally get to do that again, and then add to that that they've got a live audience and they're walking away with, you know, some cash in their pockets. You know, COVID can only kill live music if we let it. Good stuff there, right? All you need to do is bring a lawn chair and a few bucks to pay the band.